Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, looking at my um, radio fun outside yesterday. Uh, one of the things that is obvious when you start going somewhere else with your radio is how the noise around us is blocking so much of what we can listen to. Um, one of the things that we often don't um, see is that you don't need a big signal to have a good and clear reception of a station on radios today. And the biggest problem is that the noise around us washes out the weaker signals. And those weaker signals would normally be enough to have uh, listened to some of the broadcasts. I was looking yesterday, for example, at some of the things I was hearing. Uh, there was a Voice of America on 15165. That comes in just okay here when I'm at home. But once I go outside to a park like yesterday, f where it wasn't even the best location, but it was much lower noise anyways, um, it was suddenly a clear and easy listen. Uh, same thing for the BBC. I listen to the BBC French language service. It, you know, 15490 is the best frequency for that service, but it's washed out here. It's impossible to listen to here. Yet, yesterday, even with a signal that wasn't that strong, clear, easy to listen to the program and hear the news. And whatever you try, it's kind of interesting to see that noise is definitely the the deal breaker in our hobby. Noise is what's creating that environment where you're listening to shortwave and you say, well, there is nothing on the 19 meter band. Well, if you had gone to a place where there's really not a lot of noise, you would have noticed that the 19 meter band actually had, um, you know, at least a dozen signals, if not more, but you heard nothing because at your location, uh, at home, you know, um, the gentleman that I, uh, talked to yesterday that recognized me from my videos, which has, by the way, the same name as I do, he was called also Gilles. Um, he was telling me that he didn't do a lot of radio listening at home cause he couldn't hear much. And he was more of the type that liked to listen to weak signals to, you know, kind of a little more of a DX type uh, guy. And he was saying that, you know, if he wants to listen to the radio, he goes somewhere else because he cannot listen to the radio where he's located. And uh, that is the majority of us. You know, city dwellers, shortwave is a tough one for city dwellers. That's why, you know, like I said yesterday, I enjoyed a nice Sunday, sunny day outside. I think a lot of us to enjoy the hobby to its max. We have to do that. We have to take our radios with us. That's where, you know what, portable radios are nice because a big desktop receiver is, is, is cool, but it's it's a tough one to bring, a, you know, with power and everything to a location where a portable radio runs on batteries and, um, you know, just bring a extra some extra batteries if needed and you're all set up and you have a listening post and you know, the more and more, because uh, you guys have been asking me to test with telescopic antennas. This was what I did yesterday. Yesterday was telescopic antenna only. And there's a lot of stuff I could hear. Um, propagation was not the best yesterday, though. K-index was around 4 when I was there, so um, it wasn't as good as it could have been. Yet, it was still better than what I would listen to at home. And using only the telescopic. So, it shows you that you know, you don't need fancy antennas. One of the things that often we hear is, you know, what antenna do I need? That telescopic on portables is already good enough for a lot of stuff that you can hear. And yes, you can add a wire antenna, makes it even better. But we've moved on to a situation where it ain't that much the antenna anymore. It's much more... Is it noisy around you? Is there a lot of our radio frequency interference around you? And I thought today I'd do a couple of demonstrations to show you how to find locations of 
uh, RFI um, with different types of radios. So radios with, um, you know, the signal to noise ratio indication, radios with, of course, the bar graph indication, and radios with the um, radios with the uh, with pretty much no indication whatsoever how to kind of identify uh, if there's noise or not around you. So I'm going to check that out. I'll do a couple of videos where I'll uh, move around and show you guys how to you know find locations, the better locations, and so on. Hope you're going to enjoy that. Uh, but definitely, every time I go to you know a park. What I notice is signals, the radios come alive with signals, and a lot of you have actually experienced that also. And it all has to do with a very simple thing. Remove the noise, you'll see that there's a hell of a lot of signals out there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.